Okay, so what is trade? Trade means the exchange, but exchange of what? Trade is the exchange of goods and services. So this is called trade, but it's still not the complete definition of it. In the past, people used to exchange goods and services with each other. If someone possessed, for example, goat, he used to give that goat uh, for some wheat or something like that. But uh, this exchange of goods and services was known as the barter system. Now we don't have this barter system. So what are we exchanging goods and services with? We exchange the goods and services with currency. If you have money, you can get goods. If you have money, you can get services, services like education. You have money, you can pay the fee, you can get education. You have money, you can buy something for yourself. So that's what trade is. Trade can be of two types. There can be two possible types of trade, broadly speaking, and those are domestic trade and international trade means this is internal trade and this one is external trade. The question that you would ask is why does any country get involved in the international trade? No country in the world is self-sufficient. What is the meaning of self-sufficient? That there's no country that has each and everything it needs for the survival of its people. Pakistan manufactures a lot of textile. Pakistan can sell textile throughout the world, but Pakistan does not manufacture automobiles. So Pakistan needs to import that. That's the reason why we need not only get busy in the domestic trade, we need to get involved in the international trade. Domestic trade is not the theme of this chapter. Rather, this chapter deals with international trade. Sara ka sara focus hamara international trade pe hoga. Now, in the international trade, we have two very important terms that we need to understand. One is called the import and the other is called the export. Now, which kind of trade is this import and export? So think of it like this, that we have this country. Pakistan, this is Pakistan. And if Pakistan buys something, if Pakistan buys goods and services, now by import, we mean that Pakistan as a country is buying products, buy, buying goods and services. And while we buy from other countries, what goes out from the country? We give them our currency. So giving away the currency and buying goods and services is called import. Import is the type of trade in which we buy goods and services. And in return, we, we give the currency to the other countries. What's export? Export is the opposite. Export is the opposite. How? That, sell exactly. This is Pakistan and Pakistan sells its goods plus services throughout the world in return we get currency here the word port here the word port import means coming in your country export means exiting your country the next thing is the benefits of international trade so the benefit number one is called the utilization of resources and what do we mean by the utilization of resources? We mean that once Pakistan starts to get involved in the international trade, Pakistanis need to focus on export. And while they would be focusing on export, they would be using the raw materials found within our country to manufacture products, to process products, and finally selling them. Let's suppose you have the mineral resources present. Now you can sell the mineral products if you have demand somewhere around the world, similarly, you have the demand of textile throughout the world and Pakistan can, can benefit from it. Pakistan can utilize the local cotton, process it, make it cotton yarn, manufacture it into a cotton cloth and then sell it throughout the world. Secondly, another benefit of entering into trade is the common sense, which is more employment opportunities. If I have uh, the opportunity to get into the international trade think of it in this way of a complete business cycle there would be farmers who would be busy in cultivating the crops and there would be someone who would supply the crops to the market or to the industries 
and those industries in those industries there would be workers who would be manufacturing some products and then the manufactured product would be ready to be sold to the or sent to the domestic market or to the port or seaport of pakistan and at the seaport there would be people who would be involved in checking it clearing it seeing the uh, seeing the quality of it and finally this would be shipped throughout the world are you getting how many people would be involved in this kind of um, in this kind of a cycle if we are to enter into this international trade so this would increase a lot of employment opportunities throughout pakistan the third reason why we enter into the international trade is the technology now pakistan is not the country which has a lot of upgraded technology because pakistan does not manufacture many things pakistan buys a lot of things for example had pakistan not been in the international trade pakistan would not even have computers pakistan would not even have mobile phones pakistan would not even have internet if you become the part of international trade chances are that you're going to uh, be upgraded with the updated and upgraded with the technology then there is this concept of industrialization and this is closely linked with the earlier one utilization of resources which is ki pakistan mein industries banna bahut tezi se shuru ho jayengi ab let's suppose uh, pakistan decides to uh, export something let's suppose we have a friendly country who wants to buy things from pakistan what pakistan can do if pakistan knows there is textile demand throughout the world pakistan can have more and more industries for the same purpose aap dekhen pakistan mein textile industries bahut hi zyada hain sahi you just name it itne sare brands hain jo ki pakistani brands hain they are working in pakistan and even going to get multinational wo multinational bhi ho rahe hain so this is the benefit of getting into the international trade aapko jab demand zyada milti hai so you need to supply more and if you need to supply more you need to have more industries think of it agar future mein hamare paas gaadiyon ki demand aana shuru ho jaye so we'll have more factories around pakistan which would be making cars to hamare paas cars ki zyada industries ho sakengi and then i would add a concept of specialization specialization kya hota hai kisi ek cheez mein expert ban jana that's called specialization specialization mein hota ye hai ki if people know that pakistanis are uh, selling good footballs uh, throughout the world or good sports goods the demand for pakistani sports goods would increase everywhere so yeah let's suppose our first customer was usa but because of the positive feedback from usa uk also got involved and then european union got involved and everybody wants to buy football from pakistan how did pakistan make such a good name because of good quality assurance pakistan agar iski quality assure nahi karta to pakistan ki jo product hai wo itni zyada successful nahi hoti why do we rely on japanese cars sahi hai japanese cars ki jo demand hai wo kyun hai itni zyada because we know that they do not compromise on the quality of it to isi tarike se different countries have made their names in different products and this all happens because of getting involved in the international trade aap international trade mein involved hote hain तो आपका नाम किसी ना किसी चीज में बढ़ना शुरू हो जाता है लेट्स जस्ट एड वन मोर रीजन टू इट एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वैल्यू एडिशन व्हाट आर द वैल्यू एडेड गुड्स बाय वैल्यू एडेड गुड्स वी मीन दैट इफ आई एम गोइंग टू सेल फिश टू जापान आई एम गोइंग टू अर्न सम मनी बट वॉट इफ आई डिसाइड टू टेक आउट द स्केलेटन ऑफ द फिश एंड कट इट इन टू पीसेस एंड टेक आउट द इंटेस्टाइंस एंड uh and add some salt or spices and put it inside a can and then sell it i would obviously have more chances to earn more money if you add more value to your product you get more chance to earn more aapko zyada chances mil jate hain ki aap zyada earn kar sakte ho aur zyada value kis tarike se add kare hum log apni product mein by adding more processes on it for example when we dealt with the cotton industry cotton textile industry usme humne kya seekha Okay, if I'm going to sell cotton, it would get me some money, but less. I process it and make it into a cotton yarn. अब उसके पैसे ज़्यादा हो जाएंगे. धागा बना दिया, धागे के पैसे ज़्यादा हैं. धागे से मैं कपड़ा बना दूँ, कपड़े के ऊपर मैं कलरिंग कर दूँ, कपड़े के ऊपर मैं प्रिंटिंग कर दूँ, 
और उसके बाद फिर मैं किसी ब्रांड नेम का कोई टैग लगा दूं उसके बाद में बेचूंगा इट वुड ब्रिंग मोर मॉनेटरी बेनिफिट फॉर मी 